Hello everybody, and welcome back to Open Source Tonight. Today, folks, what I wanted to talk to you all about is something called Cockpit. Cockpit is an open source utility that allows you to manage your Rocky Linux, Red Enterprise Linux, etc., as well as other non-Red Enterprise Linux style distributions of Linux using a web browser. So let's go take a look. So folks, here it is, and it's pretty cool. So you can use this to manage your system. And so I've actually got it installed on my Rocky Linux system here. And so if we simply in, if we simply, it starts to install, but if we simply log in, there it is. Now I'm gonna go into administrative access. So you have to escalate to that. I had authorized and now I have administrative privileges over my own box. This is literally the system that we're recording right now. And we can see one service has failed. Let's see what that is. If it's the service I think it is. Oh, that's actually not the one I thought it was. Okay, let's look at it here. Start the service, let's see if it cooperates now. So anyway, we'll try that later. So we can look at logs. So we can look at a bunch of stuff. So let's look at usage of RAM and such. So you can see I've got my disks here and all of that. Um, you can get, you can see I've got like different services running. Uh, you can see CPU load. We can view all the CPU load there. So pretty cool. You can see I've got 12.8 gigs available right now. I'm not using any swamp. My networking connections are over here and you can see those. Uh, we can like add a user. So I can come in here and create a new account. We could just call it test user for the fun of it. And we'll just set a password here. Okay. And you know what? Let's go ahead and require the user to change the password on the next login. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't like the password. Fine. Hold on. It's not going to like this one, I don't think, either. Yeah, it doesn't like that one either. So, good security, everybody. What if we just disable password authentication? I guess we don't need a password there, do we? Create, could not obtain the password to be scored. Create account with weak password. Yeah, sure, why not? So we have a test user. Now I'm gonna immediately go in there and delete the user. We'll delete their files too. And it was that easy. So you can see how this could be very useful. You can create groups and you could manage all this. Now, of course you could do this with the command line. Now, of course, you could do all this with the command line, but oh, it's the fun in that one, you can do it with a GUI. We can adjust our networking uh, and see traffic. So right now, I'm not really doing a lot of zeros and ones moving around the network, so you can see that things are pretty calm. Uh, on the other hand, though, if we was, we could change stuff. So like this has a static IP. I can come in here and I could actually, let's see here, I could edit. Well, I guess I can't edit all of it. Hmm. I know I can edit like the DNS. Oh, <laughs> there, I can actually edit the IP too. So you can see I can edit all of this. And so that's pretty cool. You can do virtual machines in here. Now that's, a, this is an add-on that I added, but it's cool. So if we let it load here, I could create like a new virtual machine and you know, I could, you know, set it all up and I could do that, you know? And so here, maybe CentOS 7, for example. And you know, we could, have some interesting things. Uh, we can install different add-ons down here. And this is what that screen looks like. I think it's pretty interesting. So, you know, we can check like software updates. I thought this was pretty cool that we can do that. So I can go like status, checking the software status. So you could remotely do this again with SSH, but if you want to do it with a GUI for some reason, you can. So I think it's kind of cool but I haven't even showed you my favorite feature here yet. We're gonna to have to wait for this thing to load, but then I will show you my favorite feature actually. Oh, there it goes, it's loaded, all right. So let me show you my favorite feature. Go to terminal, and I am now setting on a terminal over the internet or over the local network, and I can use this to actually do stuff. So like for example, I can ping Google. Actually, you know what, let's just ping, let's just ping the, uh, the router actually, why not? So as you can see, I'm pinging my router and you can see that it works. And if I actually do control D, it actually disconnects me. 
course, I don't know if you really need to do that. I think you could just click away. So there's a bunch of things you can do. I can come in here to image burner and I could create like, I believe this is like ISOs based on Rocky. So it's pretty cool stuff. I mean, we can change a bunch of stuff. We can set a dark theme or a light theme. That's actually not that much of a difference really, is it? Uh, we can put in SSH keys to the system. So it's pretty cool. If I log back out, we can go ahead and return to the system. So folks, let me know your thoughts about this. Are you gonna use this utility on your Linux systems in the future? Honestly, while I do think it's interesting to play with, I don't know how often I'd actually use this. SSH lets me do these same things. There is some stuff that's really nice, like being able to see like the CPU use and stuff in a nice graphical way. I do kind of like that and some of the network statistics graphs and such. Um, but I don't know. I mean, most of the stuff I feel like I could just do from the command line via SSH or locally. Anyway, folks, just let me know what you think. Thanks for watching Open Source tonight, and I'll see y'all again very soon. Goodbye, everybody. And action.